What are you staring at me like that for? Huh? What's <laughs> oh. <laughs> so cute? She loves this Andy blanket. She will not go to sleep unless it is on the bed. <laughs> like the second I turn on Born Again, this child is just like staring at the screen, trying to jump up and just like pit pat the screen. bbb army welcome back to our channel bbb army hearts to hearts i am ruth and i'm nicole bbb army we are here with another fan story and this time around we have this amazing fan right here named morgan please welcome morgan on the show thank you for having me i appreciate it thank you for your patience again gonna continue oh, no. saying that <laughs> <laughs> No problem. Worth the wait. I'm just so excited to have you on. Like we have been looking forward to your uh application and just having you on to, sh to hear your BBB story. So yes, same here. Quincy is the same. Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, BBB Army, we have our lovely fan uh and friend Morgan here. She also joined us for one episode of BB BBB Month where we had to unscramble the songs of BBB songs. So there was that. <laughs> Oh, At least now I'm not flipping my phone upside down. Yeah, because it doesn't so. work like that, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess let's get into the questions to hear your story, Morgan. So our very first question is, how did you discover Black Veil Bride? So I discovered them in 2012, and uh, I'm I'm not going to elaborate, but I was in the, the worst place in my life. And it, it really, it, it couldn't at that point have gotten any worse. I had gotten into a mind frame of making a decision that now looking back, I'm very glad that I didn't. Um, so I decided that I wanted to listen to music. And uh, as I was listening to music and, you know, uh, a song came on and it, it made me like freeze and it was savior. And it just, it stopped me from doing what I was about to do and I was like what what am I doing no I don't want to do this and then when I heard hear my voice remind you not to bleed I was like no I'm not doing this so I just spent the rest of the day listening to every single music video I'm like his voice is beautiful and then I watched the music video I'm like oh he's beautiful so like <laughs> and then like from then on it just it it turned me into like the biggest Black Hill fan like it was it was almost like fate was like, yeah, we know you're going through something right now, but don't do this. We've got something that's better that's going to help you. And it's helped me every single day since. They've been my strength. They've been my backbone. They've been my voice. And I'm really, really glad that it was just, it was a complete accident that I stumbled across their music, but it was the best accident ever. Wouldn't be the same person that I am today if it weren't for that happening when it did. Mm -hmm. It was fate. It was fate. <laughs> I feel like that happens to a yeah, lot of fans. 100%. We go through a tough down situation in life and we're put to this decision and then here comes Black Full Brides as saviors. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely funny how Black Full Brides finds every fan at the perfect moment. It is. Yeah. Yes. And I think like the best thing about it is that I, I grew along with them because like I, I came in about 2012 which was like right before Wretched and Divine like right when Set the World on Fire was like in the transitional period so like not only have I grown over time but Black Bell's grown and I feel like they've helped me grow as a person and helped me discover myself because I was in the worst place and I found these like, these five people that are like the absolute best coping mechanism if I'm sad I listen to Black Bell if I'm sad I listen to Black Bell if I'm bored I listen to there's there's never a time where I'm not like what do I do it's like oh Black Bell rides fixes it everything it's, it's it's like they're they're the best kind of therapy the best kind of medicine it's just it's amazing how one thing can become everything to you so this second question, I feel might be a bit challenging for you because we have seen your uh, Spotify playlist we for Black Bell Brides. <laughs> and your tattoos. <laughs> so we would like to know what your favorite song by Black Bell Brides is. And if you can't pick one, you can pick a top three. Save your Saber 2 orchestral and Saber 2 original. Oh, wow. <laughs> <I'll save her. laughs> 
<laughs> that was quick. I thought it was going to be hard. Yeah. Not I a question. Not it's all not a savior. Day. Yeah. I mean, the reason like it's it's savior. Like I got my 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 it, technically the savior chest piece is my second black belt tattoo, but I wanted it on my chest because I wanted it as close to my heart as it was when I discovered them. Um, and then saber two um, with the tattoos, which I know that's a question. I'll I'll yes, get into that. Save, later, save that so yeah. <laughs> it's just they're they're both beautiful songs, and they they blend in so perfectly with one another that it, it kind of it delivers the same message. And it just savior two reminded me of why I fell in love with black Phil and why I fell in love with savior. It's not even a hard decision, which are my two favorite songs. So I'm going to be the evil one here. <laughs> Side question. If you had to savior or savior two. Savior. <laughs> savior? Okay. Savior. So, oh, she knows. She knows. Savior. savior. Okay. Oh, the first one. Okay. Well, that's valid. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. That is fair. That's Out fair. of all of over the years since you became a fan, I think I have a hunch which one it is. Favorite album of theirs. Holy, that, that, that's that's a challenging set the world on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, figured, I figured you and Nicole can talk and stuff. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm really envious of that set the world on fire. Is it a blanket or is that a gigantic poster? I cannot it's tell. A blanket. I just have That's it what I thought. Is that, so do you envious. have like a pillowcase too of set the world? Yeah, on fire? or is that a hoodie? Um, I have a, I have a smaller. It's it's a tinier blanket. It's oh, okay. There's like a, a smaller, not the same thing. Oh, okay. So it's a bed covered in black belt blankets. <laughs> I love I like it. To be comfortable. I would totally. <laughs> that would be my Zen place if I was nearby and having a down day. I would just come to you, go take a nap in your BVB uh, room and stuff, and just listen to BVB, and then <laughs> I'm Zen. <laughs> I'm just excited to have another uh, set the world on fire stand here because I don't get me wrong. Every album is great, but I feel like we get a lot of fans that love Wretched and Divine, and I'm like set the world on fire. <laughs> hey, I don't hate it's it. Just, I love oh, it I too. It's just like you know. <laughs> I was a theater kid growing up and I, I like like theatricality and I love imagery and like when I, I discovered Black Girl, I was like they they look they look like Kiss I love everything about this and like I love Kiss to death I always have since I was a little kid and the album top to bottom like first song to last song there's not a flaw on Set the World on Fire it is the best record they've ever made it's it's going to be really, really challenging for me to ever have any other favorite record other than Set the World on Fire. I feel you on that. And I love the fact that you were bringing up Kiss because Set the World on Fire just brings so much Kiss vibes. And I think that's one of the reasons why I love it, because my parents uh, grew me up on that 80s rock and roll. And I'm so I'm here for it. <laughs> so leading into my signature question, which I'm really excited to hear uh, your answer on, which uh, album do you like better? The original We Stitch or the remastered Restitch? Definitely Restitch These Wounds because you have CC and you have money on it. And I adore the both of them so much like i love sandra she's an incredible drummer i've talked to her a few times she's a total sweetheart but cc i mean like <laughs> you're talking to a cc fan stand just, here they're both so absolutely sweet restitch definitely. Yeah. i mean i don't blame you because we have lonnie skills and cc skills and stuff bringing it into the remastered of their uh their first album so i don't blame you <laughs> i like the way that we stitch sounds don't get me wrong but i love how it's such a beautiful evolution with restitch these wounds like you can see how much black veil has matured from we stitch to restitch and jake did a great job producing it it's just it's a beautiful record and like the music's cleaner and it's I, I love We Stitch These Wounds. It's it's one of the best albums. All of Black Fills are. Uh, some of the ARMY knows you have met Black Fill Brides pr uh, pretty often during their concerts and VIP and meet and greet, personal meet and greet. So what has been your favorite memory with them? This can be meet the meet and greets, VIP, concert, or something online. So it is a concert, um, but it, it kind of has more to do with the people that I met mm -hmm. rather than Black Bell themselves. And it was the first leg of Trinity of Terror. I met my two best friends, Brandon and Destiny, there. I go to concerts extremely early, and I I, I, I don't know why, um, <laughs> just, just because... Brandon and Destiny were like hanging out by the 
by the tour buses and everything. So we just got to talking and uh, we had all gone to the same out of state concert, which was in Birmingham, Alabama, which is the next state over since I'm in Georgia. And like normally I'll meet people that occasionally live in the same state as me, but they lived um, conveniently enough at the time, 20 minutes away from me. Um, so we swap contact details. And I think after the concert was over and like I was back in Georgia, I think I hung out with them almost every single day for the first few months. And they went from two complete strangers that I'd, I'd never would have known existed to being like my absolute best friends. I could not picture my life without them. We now live together. So now I get to build a relationship to people that I just absolutely adore with everything in me. I get to be an aunt to their daughter. Like I get to live with them. They're, they're the sweetest, most selfless, kindest people I've ever met. I, I owe my friendship to Ink, Motionless, and Black Veil for helping me find these two people that they make me stronger. They support me. I support them. They're just, they're everything that a best friend should be. And I love them so much. And they're going to watch this. So I love the both of you very, very, very much. Honestly, that answer just melts my heart because I feel like when it comes to uh, the BBB army or any type of fans and like ink or motionless, um, there are just people who just you just vibe so quickly because they've gone through the same experience like you have the same feelings, the same ups and downs, and you have this passion for this band. Like Nicole and I met through the BBB army, and Nicole, sometimes I do question. I look through your Instagram, like she's so cool. How is she my friend? <laughs> I, just, I love going to concert. Now I get to share a home with somebody that I met at a concert and that we just, we we blend and get along so perfectly together. That's honestly truly amazing that you're now living with your best friends that you met from a concert. Like <laughs> every time I joke with Nicole, like move over here. Like I, I'm dead serious. Move over here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I want, I was literally just thinking too. I was like, me and Ruth have to live together now. Like we talked about it. I like, like I don't know if we're half the time I'm like we're we're just being like bullshit. I don't know if we're like just ha no, like just joking serious. or if we're being house. serious. But so moving on to our next question, uh, we do know that this could be a really difficult question to answer. So we ask that you just take as long as you need. Uh, but how has Blackville Brides impacted your life? It's it's pretty much become a very very prominent factor in my life at least for what 2012 was what 12 years ago I'm not good at math um, don't, don't so. make us feel God. old yes we know it's been a while <laughs> 12 years I mean it Black Veil has been the one thing that I turned to for everything like there was a point in my life where I didn't have friends I didn't have you know family that that was supportive like I I generally I just at one point I had nothing. But even when I had nothing, I had them. And they were the ones that got me through everything, even though you know, we don't talk or anything. I see them at concerts. It, it was almost like having a friend that, you know, you don't really talk to, but you know, they're, they're there. They've been the one thing that I've turned to. Like music's always been that one outlet that I've used as a support system. Because it just, it accepts me when others don't to find one thing that I just, I'm trying to find the right words. And I, I don't know that there are the right words for it, but Black Bell's changed me, made me a better person, made me a better friend. I mean, it's me. They've helped me discover what makes me happy instead of me trying to figure out what makes me happy by making other people happy. And again, like... I'm just uh, so grateful that BBB was there. Like we said in the beginning, it was faith that they were there to save you during your dark, dark, tough time that you were going through and that they're still there. And that I know it could be different for everyone, but like for you, they were there to just for your outlet, to zen yourself, to just feel comfortable in your safe zone and stuff, escape reality, what reality is right now, and just kind of just vibe with their lyrics and stuff. And I know for other fans, it's like they've been there for me. They showed me I could trust them and stuff. So that was very huge for me. And I'm like, I get it. Like, they're there. We don't talk to them much. But when we do, it's like, what's up? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like seeing a long lost friend after a while, at least to me. Like, oh, that, that's I, kind I of like what I'm very happy that they were there for you though so like they saved you and now you're here and I feel like 
I'm trying to find the words for this. Um, again, you've been there from the start, like we have to, and like you're one of those fans who've been shining and promoting Black Veil Brides. Black Veil. Wow, I can't speak. Black Veil Brides. <laughs> as much as you can from your Spotify streams, your posts and everything, your tattoos, which we'll get into here soon. Obviously your room, hello. So it's just, it's pretty awesome just to see that, like even though years have passed, you're still a strong, passionate BBB fan. And I freaking love that. The small things that I, I feel like there's not words or actions that are enough, but what I can do, I feel like it's it's enough to show that I do appreciate them and I appreciate everything that they do for me and everybody else within the Black Phil Army because there's, there's a lot of artists that are kind of high and mighty and when they get to a certain level of popularity, they, they kind of, they forget what made them the people that they are and that's that's the fan base but black hill's not like that at all like at the end of the day they're they're just like us like lonnie was before he joined the band he was one of us and what? they're still very humble and down to earth and respectful and that's one of the things that i love about them is that they treat you like a person rather than just another face in the crowd i think also <laughs> bbb dad chris Biersack also freaking loves that too because he always tells me and all their fans like you don't need to get as much merch to show yourself as you're a fan listen to their music non-stop like if you are going to spread the word support them in any way you can that is enough for him and the band and they greatly appreciate it oh yeah and since mr bear Sox gonna watch this hi <laughs> <laughs> Like you said, with Mr. Beersack saying you don't have to buy all the merch, I, I, I don't, I don't, he's right, I don't have to, hmm. um, but Blackfell merch is like Pokemon, I just, I, I, I have oh to get it all. I, um, <laughs> gotta catch them all. <laughs> Nicole can, Val can agree with that statement, I know that for sure. <laughs> yes, we were just talking about it before we came on to do this. Every Blackfell show, I walk up to the merch booth and like, what do you want? I'm like, what of everything? Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Mm. <laughs> gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Mm. Gotta catch them all, BBB merch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to say, though, that I do think it's absolutely beautiful how much Black Veil Brides has impacted so many of their fans. And it's, it's one of those things, they realize it, but I don't know how much they truly realize it, if that makes any sense. Because I know that they know, but it's like, but do they know? And I feel no. like when we have <laughs> all of you fans come on to share this story, you know, if they when if they get the chance to like sit down and watch these episodes, I know that just hearing each and every one of y'all's stories is going to bring so much warmth and joy to their hearts. Yeah, I think in 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 retrospect, I wasn't the one that found Black Phil Brides. Black Phil Brides is the one that found me. If love I it. if I really I think that. about it, love that. So. Now we're finally here at this topic, tattoos. So for anyone who's listening or watching and don't know, Morgan, hello Morgan, has a lot of Black Phil Brides tattoos. Honestly, I think she may have been in Nicole with the Black Phil Brides tattoos. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk about your Blackville Brides tattoos. Where do you want me to start? Well, let's first start off like which one is what what that words? Which one is, has been your first one? What was the first Blackville Brides tattoo? Um, so the first one that I got, um, it was originally this one right here. Ooh, oh my god. That was um, pretty. Yeah, it was originally a cover-up that my ex had me get, but I wanted something that gave me strength to be. Uh, a cover up so that I didn't have to see like I, I went in and I, I got this tattoo and then later on like tattoos are expensive I was at a point where like I, I couldn't really afford big grandiose tattoos but later on I finally had the, the money to do a chest tattoo so I did the wings logo with uh, savior will be there right here mm -hmm. um just as a reminder of you know where I drew my strength from where I was at at the darkest point in my life that way because Blackville kept my heart beating, they're always part of my heart. Sleeve came in later on. The sleeve. So let's um, talk about your sleeve because it's definitely, I yes. see some Russian Divine inspiration, also We Stitch inspiration. Yeah, so there's, there's yeah, a little bit of, of everything. Wretched stuff with the Fallen Angels. Save your lyrics right there. The now I know more than all of my scars. And originally the first part of this tattoo i wanted uh the fear silhouette and i wanted blackbird 
Um, so I went to my tattoo artist, which oh, yeah, my best friends, Brandon you. and Destiny, actually introduced me to. And he's like, why don't we just do a hybrid? So there's a uh, leopard and the fierce that. silhouette side of it. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, so cool. the black bell logo around and then uh, the yeah. restit these wounds. Yeah. And then uh, Heart of Fire, the Sacred Heart, and then the little veil logo. So there's there's elements of pretty much all Black Veil eras kind of everywhere. And I'm not done. There's 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 more I have planned already. I've got another arm. So yeah, I was just gonna ask, are you gonna plan to do another BBB sleeve on your other arm? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I planned out. I'm just I'm just broke and tattoos are expensive, but yes, I'm doing Preach. Another Preach. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm literally obsessed, and I mean obsessed with your sleeve. I think it is so f***ing beautiful. I just wish that my arm was longer so I could have done more. <laughs> uh, your sleeve is very beautiful, and just the creativity of your artist and you working together yeah. to create those drawings were beautiful. Like, now I just kind of want to get you and Nicole together and, like, sh take photos for Ink Magazine. Like, here are some... Here's some photos of amazing BBB tattoos that should totally be, be featured in the Ink Magazine, you know? <laughs> I'm totally game for that. I am 100% game for that. Uh, moving on to our next question <laughs> is Blackfoot Bride concerts. Uh, we would love to know all the Blackfoot Bride concerts that you have been to. The first one was November 21st of 2021. That was the Blackfoot Brides in this Moment tour, I believe. Oh yeah, the in-between uh, tour. In -between tour. Yeah, that was probably minus trinity of terror my other favorite black film memory because that day was the day of my grandmother's funeral um so i went to her funeral and then immediately went to the black film show and i brought one of her scarves with me because i just i wasn't ready to say goodbye yet um so i let andy know you know hey we had my grandmother's funeral this morning would you mind just keeping her scarf on stage he wore it signed it and gave it back to me. really really made a day that was you know originally gonna be really really difficult because I was very very close to my grandmother growing up I spent a great deal of my childhood and early adolescence with her just and I know Andy was close with his grandparents as well so you know to have somebody kind of understand the loss and everything but for him to just take a small moment out of you know his own show to make me feel special it, it turned the pain into you know pleasure and joy and it, I think it just cemented my thought process of damn I found the right band to be a super fan girl and then I went to all three rugs of Trinity um in Birmingham Asheville and Atlanta okay um I did the Black Veil Villa Valley tour um mm -hmm. the one that's the tongue twister that I'm not going to say five times fast uh, B -B 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 -D -D. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you just said. I think that's it. And then I'm doing a uh, bleeder store. Yes. Yeah. I love the fact that the it was in between his mo in between his moment tours. That's where what your grandma's scarf that Andy did. I mean, that just yeah. goes to just I mean, yeah, come on. It just shows to show you that how Andy is as a person. So <laughs> uh, and I think also uh Trinity of Terror one, because I I I'm a subscriber of the Andy show have been for many, many years. Yeah, yeah. And I remember when they did their, uh, their white Christmas episode and everything like that, he was talking about how he's been trying to get a hold of the, the Ninja Turtles stretch Armstrongs. And I just happened one day to be in a comic game shop and I saw it. I'm like, Oh, I'm, you're coming home with me. And then I gave it to Andy at Trinity and he wrote me a personal thank you note and everything like that and gave it back to me. Like I, it was just a small way of me saying, Hey, thank you. So, because he didn't have, you know, he said that he, he couldn't find it for right. a reasonable price, but it, it, I, I get why he couldn't, because it, it, was, it was expensive. Oof. It was very expensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for Andy to show his gratitude for that, too. I mean, it was kind of something that you were stating earlier, where out of a lot of bands, and we're not this, you know, I'm not saying all bands, but there's a good portion of bands, as you had stated, where when the fame gets to their head, they kind of forget, like where they came from and everything. And for, once again, that just goes to show the heart that Blackfield Brides has. Everything that they, they're so humble, they're respectful, they're talented, they're everything that a band should be. All of the above. And I know that people get a lot of crap for being Blackfield fans. I personally don't care if you rip on me for being a Blackfield fan, because I don't really care what your opinion is. Like, I, I, if you don't Preach. like Blackfield, cool. I'll Preach. like them twice as much for you. It's okay. 
you'll be fine. Amen, sister. Preach. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I feel that. Preach. <laughs> all right our next question is uh, let us head back in the early years restitch and set the world on fire what has been your favorite war paint restitch or we- okay yeah um set the world on fire which <laughs> is war paint then andy <laughs> <laughs> yeah kind of figured <laughs> it's those freaking flicks they're so they're rad i, I think love, they were the coolest I things when i first saw them so much so when i do his makeup i'm like flick 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 it's so hard to do i've tried it i'm like you know what i'm just gonna go wretched into divine era it's just easier so moving on to bbb eras if there is one era that you had to live in for the rest of your life which i think we already know but please enlighten us anyway yo me set the world on fire <laughs> yep <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my default answer is gonna be but I, I kind of I, I find it it would be kind of an interesting like hybrid mashup if it was set the world on fire and fan on tomorrow kind of blended in together Ooh, I do like that it's like the phantom it'd be the phantom tomorrow imagine the comic book so if you look at all the buildings but the buildings are on fire love it mm-hmm. how has been your experience with the BBB army so far awesome wonderful I've met a lot of really awesome people two of you and my best friends Brandon and Dusty almost everybody that I've met like they've they've been amazing and I I think that at least and and this might be partial based on bias because I am one but I think the Blackville fan base is the best one that there is out there out of all the musicians all the genres because everybody treats everyone as an equal with respect i've never felt more accepted and comfortable than i have in the black Belt rights army there's there's a lot of judgment in other fan bases and i'm not i'm not going to name drop because it doesn't really matter but blackville i feel like we all just we're all kind of one and the same but different at the same time yeah. if that makes any sense at all it does so it's it's the common mutual respect that's just it's so rare to find that where people are are fans of the same thing but they're so nitpicky and and sometimes negative if they disagree on one small minute thing but that's that's not the case in this fan base everybody gets along perfectly and it's it's very comforting and reassuring it's it's very much like a family rather than just a group of people that like the same thing you know i know it's hard for outsiders like people who are not fans of blackville brides to see it the way that we all do i think it's one of those things you just have to experience it for yourself when you join the bbb army the very last question that we have for you is actually if you have any questions for ruth and i and they do not have to be blackville brides related i do let me grab my phone Ah. all right all right all right i'm a red team maybe i don't know sometimes i get scared <laughs> i know same and i know you guys like the weird questions so i figured one of these you would actually like um so for uh both of y'all if you could design an album for any artist that you love and it doesn't have to be black brides what message would you want the artwork to convey oh that's gonna take some thinking because like obviously i Blackfoot Brides. <laughs> well, I have but, TV, but I also have Ricky Martin and Lady Gaga. So message to convey. Oh my gosh. I just like I don't I, know it's hard. What design right now at this point, but as much as I love Black Bride, Blackwell Brides, I'm gonna go in with the artist Ricky Martin because he was the first artist I really listened to and was became my first fan girl crush and stuff. And the message with him, because he is open about his sexuality and stuff. He was very open about that. And he just, just his message to the world is like, embrace yourself. Like, just live, be you. Don't be afraid to be you and stuff. Just embrace yourself. Almost similar to Black Folk Rides, but a little different, if that makes sense. <laughs> a different genre. Yes. Same definitely kind of- di- different genre, but the same message. And he just, he's just full of light and happiness. That's all I can say. <laughs> like, mine's obviously, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Obviously, yes, Blackville Brides. We all know that we would all want to do something like that. When it comes to, like, a different band, though, uh, uh, oh, my gosh, that's, that's hard. There's Ghost. I know, but I don't know what message I would convey with Ghost, if I'm being honest. That's fair. Um, I guess, like, the more I think about it, maybe something for Dark Divine, because I think the message to convey with that, because, like, obviously, I'm, like, one spooky bitch and <laughs> dark divine is spooky and i think 
the Conve the message that we can convey is to just not be afraid to be yourself. So once again, something very similar to what Black Veil Brides does. So like, that's why it's hard. It is hard because I feel like our other artists that are bands that are an artist that we listen to have very similar messages, just in a different genre and like different um, color scheme and stuff. So they all like convey a me like we, it's like they all convey the same message, but in their own way their own words yeah and then uh what song do you wish black Phil had done a music video for that they haven't done yet oh <laughs> wait what what <laughs> what song they or haven't what, yeah. Well, yeah what song would we like to have that they have not made a music video of <gasps> i know that cold is probably sweet blasphemy honestly but um uh, i mean yes <laughs> can we just say all of them <laughs> <laughs> you have to pick one. <laughs> Only one? Blackbird. 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 I, I knew it was gonna be Blackbird for you. <laughs> I was honestly thinking either Blackbird or Crowns of Florence because I love Crowns of Florence, but I'm like, no, Blackbird. I want to see that. Mm -hmm. Mine would be Devil's Choir because in terms of of songs that are not Savior, that's that's gotta be my next. That's a good that's gotta one. Be front, front, front. Nicole. <laughs> I was hoping y'all were gonna forget. Nope. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> that is hard. Um, definitely more than likely sweet blasphemy, to be honest, because that is my favorite song. I would love to have a music video for that. But I also want something from Set the World on Fire, which would probably be like Smoke and Mirrors or maybe even God Bless You. <gasps> Do you want to talk through blasphemy or new? Sweet Ooh. blasphemy. New sweet blasphemy yeah. because I love how he carries the vocals in that one. And I just feel like in the moment where he's given that little speech slash prayer, how cool will that be in a music video? Definitely. Right. It needs and to then, happen. Okay, last one. Then, uh, if each of your limbs could be an animal limb, which one would each be? Wait, wait, we could have an animal limb? Yes. So like arms, legs, like limbs. Each of them have to be a different animal. Oh, wait. So like wait a minute when you say each one like are so they different said, animals for each like limb so that means you'd have a cat yeah. leg and a dog leg yes but you still got to do back legs and they can't be the same yes Ooh. okay no I'm, okay okay can we add limbs that we don't have i like want a wings? tiger tail I, mean, sure. I just want a tiger tail honestly <laughs> <laughs> you can add limbs if it helps <laughs> i want wings so i can fly to blackville bride concerts <laughs> cheeto leg tiger leg for f for fast movement arms that's a hard one this is hard this like is hard like i think i just want i'm just gonna sorry. centaur this <laughs> shit. like i am both sorry and you're welcome all at the same time <laughs> Can I just be a centaur with wings? <laughs> <laughs> I'll even, if I have to add on one more, I'll have a giraffe neck. I don't even care. I'll be one goofy looking creature. Yes, you would. Okay, arms, like a cat arm. I would say like any cat, like a panther or something, because I feel like it, just because of their quick reflexes. Um, There's that. I need one more. <laughs> Bats? You like you bats? Just bad wings. <laughs> I can start like firing off random animals and you can just tell okay, me. Okay, this stop. is my final answer. <laughs> uh, tiger leg, tiger tail, lep a cheetah leg, black panther paw, and a le arm, I should say, and then a a just a cat, normal cat's paw, and then wings for bats, for I can fly too. So <laughs> that's I'm gonna look weird, but I don't care. I can fly. I can hang upside down if I really wanted to. <laughs> there you go. today's fan shout out actually goes to a lovely fan that we actually got a chance to meet in person in cincinnati ohio and he has been on our episode one time when we were in the beginning years of this show uh this uh, fan shout out goes to herbert uh hello herbert i hope you're doing well and stuff if you guys do not know he's now a father now to his new child which is amazing so congratulations herbert on your child i just mean from your pose that you're just 
completely in love with your child and just enjoy being a dad which is awesome to see i hope you're doing well and hopefully that i know that you're a dad now so your life is pretty busy now which i don't blame <laughs> but hopefully sometime down the road we can see you again at a bbb show in cincinnati or somewhere else so we hope you're doing well and everything and thank you just for all your support for black bill brides and the army honestly so fan shout out goes to you we'll have all of his uh, links down below if you want to give him a follow all right bbb army that officially wraps up today's episode morgan thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story we can't thank you enough and i'm we're just so thrilled that we finally got to hear your story we have seriously been waiting to get to your application we are so glad to finally have you uh please tell us where can fans find you on social media platforms um so i am on instagram i am on twitter i am on tiktok i think i'm on like almost everything but i'm not good at social media um so my handle for everything is summers and george yeah my my stuff is privated so if you do follow me just like shoot me a message and say hey you know found you on Ruth and Nicole's show um <laughs> just because I, I keep my stuff private for private reasons so That's fair. just message me. fair enough you guys heard it there go ahead and give Morgan a follow on all her social platforms BVB Army you can go ahead and find us on all social platforms as well Twitter TikTok Instagram and for the podcast you can find us if you're watching on youtube hit the subscribe button and also go ahead and like the video maybe share leave a comment um but for podcast reasons we're on all platforms for that and we are officially in march which means that we are all counting down the days to the bleeders tour and for those uh bleeders jackets from lee definitely counting down those if you haven't seen ruse uh post on twitter she is literally every single day he Every is being day. sneaky about it. It's like, oh, <laughs> just look in the reflections of my glass. I'm like, F sir. <laughs> <laughs> with respect, you say. Yeah, <laughs> with respect, but yes. Morgan, again, thank you so much for your patience and coming on. And honestly, if I have not said this enough, thank you for all of your support that you do for BBB and also the Army. You're there to support everyone in the Army and also the fandom and just bbb itself so again just thank you so much it means the world to us to have fans who are just supporting the army and black belt brides itself too so thank you for thank that. thank you thank you and nicole for the same exact reason i love this podcast i watch every single episode every single time it drops like lunch mm -hmm. breaks everything what you do is phenomenal and i'm so glad like i said in the last episode that you're giving blackville army a platform to just talk about how much we love blackville and never stop doing this please ever like just keep this going for as long as possible because what you both have created is phenomenal and i love everything about it that means a lot thank, thank you. you we can't we we just uh, we can't bleh. I can't, my tongue's tied. What I'm trying to say <laughs> is we just can't thank you enough for your love and support and just not, I mean, for, for all fans too, like we do greatly appreciate that. We will be doing this in our eighties folks. So just so you know, eighties <laughs> still rocking up the war paint and colored hair is like, yeah. <laughs> All right. We will see you next week, BBB Army. Thank you guys. See you guys next week. Bye.